BTEC Applied Science Unit 5 Physics. So this is in the materials part of the Unit 5 Physics. <clears throat> stress and strain. We need to know about stress and strain. So I'm thinking about making a mechanical device. It might be part of an engine. It might be some kind of a cable, something that supports a load, a mechanical device. Now, how stiff is steel? I'm thinking about making it out of steel. I want to know how stiff uh, it's going to be. Now, knowing the value of K, the last video was about stiffness. Now, if I know the value of K for a, a particular steel wire, that would be totally useless. Now, why? Well, basically because my mechanical component in my engine isn't going to be that steel wire. OK, uh, how much a component stretches will depend on the length of the component. Uh, the longer a wire is, the more it will stretch. And how much a component stretches will depend on its cross-sectional area as well. The thinner the wire is, the more it will stretch. So the, the stiffness of a material, the value that I look up in a data book or on the Internet for the stiffness of a material, should be independent of its dimensions, how long it is and how thick it is. So this value K would, is going to be useless. The value K only applies to a particular object. It doesn't apply to a material. It's a little bit like saying the mass of something and the density of a material. So here's a few quantities to start with. So instead of using the force acting on the object, what we do is we calculate the stress, the stress that this force produces. It could be tensile or it could be compressive. So instead of using the applied force, we use the force per unit area. We divide it by the cross-sectional area of the object, and that takes the area into account. So stress is force over area, so it's going to be newtons per meter squared. Or you should remember we can use Pascal. In fact, I'm probably going to use Pascal from now on. Uh, engineers will tend to use Pascal. Then instead of using the extension delta x, what we use is the strain. And the strain is the extension per unit length. It's the extension divided by the original length. Now, and because delta x and L are both measured in meters, uh, this quantity strain has no units because the, the units cancel. So instead of F and delta x, we're going to use stress and strain. We apply a stress and this produces a strain. So instead of K equals F over delta x, uh, we're going to use this quantity here, capital E, which is stress over strain. So K is the property of an object, for example, a spring or a wire, and it depends on the dimensions of the object. Now, this quantity capital E, which is stress over strain, is a material property, a bit like density. It's independent of the dimensions of the material. You can look it up in a data book, E. And if we know E for a material, then we can calculate the stiffness of an object which is made from it. If I know the value of E for steel, then I can work out the stiffness of a steel wire or a cable or whatever. What is E? Well, it's called the Young's modulus, named after a very, very, very clever bloke called Thomas Young. It's the Young's modulus. And because strain doesn't have any units, then it's measured in newtons per meter squared or Pascal. It has the same units as stress. So the Young's modulus of a material tells us the stiffness of a material. OK, it's a bit like density. OK, it's a material property like melting point is a material property. We're going to look at some examples now. Um, 
study these examples carefully. Okay, so a wire has a cross-sectional area of 2.1 times 10 to the minus seven meters squared. It supports a tensile load of 25 newtons. What stress will this load produce? Well, we have all of the equations on the formula sheet. Stress equals force divided by area. So 25 divided by the area, and that should give you 119 uh, megapascal times 10 to the six pascal or newtons per meter squared. Next, uh, the original length of this wire is 78 centimeters. The stress produces an extension of 2.4 millimeters. Calculate the strain that this stress has produced. So strain is delta X over L. Uh, delta X is the extension, so that's 2.4 millimeters, so 2.4 times 10 to the minus three. Uh, the original length of the wire is 0.78. Don't be caught out by millimeters and centimeters. It has to be in meters, 0.78. And so the strain is 3.1 times 10 to the minus three. Calculate the Young's modulus of the material that the wire is made from. Well, we know the stress and the strain. So the Young's modulus is the stress divided by the strain. Uh, bung the numbers in there, 38 times 10 to the 10 Pascal, or 38 gigapascal, if you like. Now, here's one that you can have a go at. All the information's there. Um, and I'll show you my answer in three, two, one, and there you go. I won't talk through it. Hopefully you got the same answers that I did.